everyone. We're going to talk about mixtures. So mixtures can be broken into two categories. We have heterogeneous and homogeneous. And this is when you're taking two substances and you're mixing them together. Heterogeneous, notice this Latin root um, is different, hetero. Um, and then homo, Latin root, means same. So different means that you have two substances mixed together that they maintain their own composition. Um, very classic examples with, of this would be salad or iron and sand. So think about salad. Maybe you don't like the tomatoes. You'll pick the tomatoes out. You can give them to me because I love to eat the tomatoes. But that's a heterogeneous mixture because the lettuce and tomatoes each have their own composition. Two examples that um, are classic for professors to ask um, or an ACT test would be blood and milk. Those will separate. You maybe have had a cut before and um, you'll get a little bit of that cream white kind of color. Um, uh, that's the plasma that's separating from the blood. Another example would be milk. If you freeze milk, it will separate into the cream and the water. So those are heterogeneous mixtures because the components that mix together still have their own composition. Um, Let's see here, a couple of words that you will see inside of heterogeneous mixtures are suspension. A suspension is when you have a liquid and something floating in it. Really good examples, river water. Go sample river, river water, set that beaker down and all the sand settles to the bottom. That's a suspension. Colloids, these are going to be small particles between one and a thousand nanometers um, that are mixed together. Really good examples, air and dust. You've maybe had a warm, wonderful summer day and you're sitting in a chair, you look across the room and you see these tiny, tiny little dust particles floating in the air, that's a colloid. Uh, over here, homogeneous. Now we have a special chemistry word for homogeneous. We call these solutions. A homogeneous mixture is just a solution. Um, and this means that when you mix the items together, they make a new composition together. Um, really good example of this would be cake batter. Um, we can't pick the eggs out. And that's something that I share with students. You can think about heterogeneous as I can physically separate them one way or another. Um, homogeneous, I can't. Um, I can't take the flour out, I added too much flour, I added too much salt. I can't separate that because the cake batter has a new composition. Another example would be orange juice concentrate. Get that can of orange juice, pour water into it, mix it up. I can't separate that anymore. Um, so that makes a solution, a homogeneous mixture. Notice on this one, I put a star by it, salt water. This is tricky. This is tricky, and I bet some of you just thought of it. Salt water is a homogeneous solution. When I put salt dissolved in water, I can't pull that salt out. However, if I evaporate the water, water's removed, what's left over is the salt. Um, so this gets a star by it. If you um, have this on a test, classify salt water as a homogeneous solution, but know that it falls a little bit in the gray area because you can separate it just like you would a heterogeneous solution. Um, now, here is where the deciding line comes from. And so it's called the Tyndall effect. The Tyndall effect, really cool. If you take a mixture and shine light through it, if it's a heterogeneous mixture, the light scatters. Wonderful example of this is when you're driving in fog. So you put bright lights on, you can't see, you're like, I might turn on my brights. Put your bright lights on and you get this wall of white because the light, as it hits all of these liquid water drops suspended, so it's actually going to be like a colloid, um, floating in the air, the light hits it and it scatters, reflecting it back into your eyes. Um, so a heterogeneous mixture, when you shine light on it, will scatter light. However, really neat, when you have a homogeneous solution and you shine light through it, like salt water, okay? Shine light through salt water, oh, the light goes straight through it and it doesn't scatter the light. Um, so that ties this together that technically salt water is considered a homogeneous solution. Um, another very classic example that you'll see professors or like an ACT t um, test ask, air is also a homogeneous solution. As I breathe in that nitrogen and oxygen, this is a homogeneous mixture of different uh, gases and they can't be um, separated um, by any sort of non-chemical means. So there you have it, mixture.